Baba, mo fe mo ni pojo la mi ni. Suru o me mi suru. Ile ti pe ko si bile si le suto. Oju mo mo dandan. Mo mo baba, mo kan wu le fe gbara de ni, mo gbudo mo. Ko buru mo ka re mi. Yo bi ko ti mo to da lola sugbon ai gbo si nta ba mo ele da re lagbara po ohun ni o si sa mo ni bi bo bo mo ni o si tu olorun o foju ni ju pe la mo eru mo le e bo ra oju san mo a te bo ra mu mi a tu fi si ogunran ni o iwole ni na ta yan ti o gbe ogun buri bo bo le kile a to laju ko laju ga mo wu wu lagbara to foju ye re opo ni o ma fe oluju fe olenu a ko ta gbe lo je fo pe eyan bi mo ni mo ni se n dara re si se yi to si n jo no le bu bi orisa pe lagbara re o fara pe ti mu to atowo dowo sugbon agbara yi ke na ti o mu kogo re bu yo yi na ni o gbe suru re o to ba wa ku wo nikan ko ti ru ara re pa Sengu. Interesting. Well, first of all, why did you choose Shongo? Sorry, sorry. I should first of all give your name. Tell us your name and how you work to Shongo. Okay. Um. Um. My name is Kola Wale Olariwaju. You don't do Kola at all. No, I always try as much as possible to add the Wale at the end. That's why I didn't call your name yeah, to introduce yeah, you. Yeah. Because if you search on Google, if you type Kola Olariwaju, other other names, other people come up. But okay. if you type Kola Wale Olariwaju, yeah, you get me there. Yeah, I'm the basically I'm the founder of Commotion Studios. We're the ones that worked on. Sorry, why the name Commotion? You cause commotion. I mean, I mean, you know. Uh, we we tend to <laughs> our goal is to create disruptive content. Oh. So disruptive and all that. Obviously, okay. you know the whole name thing. My name is Kola K O. Yeah, oh, so, okay. Yeah, so that also got into. You that. were in advertising before. Yeah. So you know time. about copy and all of those things. Uh, I tend to soak up a lot of information wherever I go. Uh -huh. So. Copy. I, I used to write also. Well, I write also. So, but I, I think my my what I was doing at uh, my ad agency or the ad industry I worked on was uh, I was an ad director. So basically, then I moved on to production, all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So is Shongo or what you've done with Shongo a lifelong dream, or it um, happened to of, you? It's one of um, what I've done with Shongo. I, I'm a storyteller, so I, I try to find interesting ways to pass on messages through different mediums. I, I, I came from a traditional art background, so I used to paint, um, I used to sculpt and all that. But once I got into computing, I, it, it was quite interesting. I knew that that was the future, so I was saying, how could I merge those two in such a way that I could also you know, tell my stories through that, those mediums? But over time, as I was growing up and I was learning, uh, I found out that it was quite expensive. <laughs> you know, it was quite an expensive <laughs> venture. But, Maybe you yeah. should hire people like uh, Jonathan to Devise a way to make this thing. Yeah, yeah, we need, we need, we need a lot of help in this country, you know. Um, and I think there are a lot of talented people that are willing to do different things, but they don't have the avenue because of, I don't. There's, there's the system, you know, in Nigeria. It's kind, it's kind of. I won't. I won't use the word flawed, but it has, it has its, you know, lapses and weaknesses that doesn't allow for certain things to flow. It's allowed for Shongo. No, um, in this scenario, I, I, I would uh, say. You were disruptive. <laughs> I had to push. I had to push harder than normal. And I think that's why, because right now it's getting some global uh, attention. I think that's why a lot of people are surprised because you know, it came out of Nigeria. That's why we even put the caveat at the beginning that was 100% made in Nigeria, just so that there's no confusion. Um, we, we had the same... But we would know definitely because Shongo, will you both write anything about yeah, Shongo? Yeah, they can. They could have a, a, a Nigerian writer. Okay. You know, to give something authentic and mm -hmm. produce it there, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, we had the same issues with every other person. Uh, power generation, 
you know, we had to, you know, use. Mm -hmm. And I think that was actually, uh, that, that brings me to one of the interesting things about this project, which was the fact that it, it was basically almost zero, uh, basically it was as cheap as $400 to produce. You say that, but did it really cost you $400 to produce that great animation? Um, Cash-wise, yes. Um, I, but, but what happened was the, the, a lot of people saw the potential of the project and came on board uh, at the early stages, and I was, I was overwhelmed with, with the amount of um, support. What does it take to do that? You need... You need, um, you need hardware, you need, um, of, of course, the talent the, for different aspects of the, of the production. Uh, of course, you need power. You what need... about the software? The software, yeah, we, we also reached out to the Because the this company. is like virtual reality, no, 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 or 3D, no. what's it's, this called? It's 3D animation. Okay. It's 3D animation. We also have a, a virtual reality angle of our company called Giddy Virtual Tools, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, so the software companies we reached out to, they gave us like a free demo of their softwares, you understand, based on what we're trying to do. Uh, so ordinarily, well, for me though, you chose a story and I wonder why Shongo. Okay. And, you know, why did you choose that. that story? Okay, Shongo to me is the most recognizable um, mythical figure, mythical figure. Mm -hmm. and we were, we're, we're trying to we're trying to export our culture, but we also know that a lot of people entertainment is the best way to get their attention. That's interesting. You Sports understand? and entertainment. Sports and entertainment. Mm -hmm. You understand? So so basically, we, we just felt okay if we're gonna tell a story right now, you know, superheroes are trending. Uh, you know, the movies. Thor. Yeah, Thor in particular. Mm -hmm. You understand? And there's so much you know so much known about Thor, but nobody knows much about Shango. Well, except for and Thor is like Shango. He's not God of Thunder. Yeah, too. they. You know, there's a saying. There's a saying, there's a saying I saw online which was quite interesting where they said uh, uh, Thor is just Shango with packaging. Absolutely. Uh, you know. Absolutely. And I I personally believe. Well, that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I personally believe um, that uh, the, the the Thor story was basically. They stole our idea. Reason why I say so is. Um, back in 1982, I think Marvel Comics um, introduced Shongo into their comic as a character, as part of some African deities. So that 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 kind of now makes sense. If you know that, okay, if they knew about Shongo and they knew about his abilities and they could include him into their stories, that means most of because the similarities with Thor is just uncanny. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it, it just made sense that oh yeah, there's definitely tap something from well, that. Well, clearly the Nigerian story. It's a Nigerian product, and we are owning it. You know, my next guest is going to join us. I mean, fine, because I think we should just finish the conversation here, because I now I have a very big chair that can yeah. fit everybody. I'm going to invite, um, I call her Iyate Jumade, because she created a character that fits also into our culture and tried to do the same thing that you're doing, but differently. So storytellers can take advantage of what you're doing as well. Mm -hmm.